Hi, this is Teresa, and you've reached my YouTube channel, Easy Does It Raw Foods. I am on day eight of a 10-day water fast. I, got, I have two more days to go. Um, I did bring you a video on the very first day. I think it was the second day of my water fast. But nonetheless, I am on day eight, and um, I can kind of give you all an update of what's been going on. I've had acid reflux really bad. I mean, it's been so bad uh, for the last two nights on day night, the night of the day six and the night of day seven, which was yesterday. Oh my God, it was horrible. I just was so uncomfortable. I was trying to get some sleep and I couldn't even get sleep because it was just that bad. And, um, so I, my sleep is thrown off since I've been doing this water fast. I am determined to finish this water fast. And when I get my mind made up about my water fast, nobody can stop me. I have been weak. I will say that I've only been drinking spring water. And in addition to that, um, so I didn't have to physically go out to the store and get my refeeding fruit. Um, what I did is I ordered some fruit through Sprouts here. Well, actually, it's not in Emeryville, but it's in Oakland, which is not too far from where I I live. Um, I was able to get them to deliver, Instacart delivered the fruit to me. And what my goal is to refeed on um, cantaloupes. I think that's an excellent refeeding um, food. In addition to that, um, my goal also is just to build myself up for four days. Um, I understand that um, when you do, because I've done so many water fasts, I have done, I, I can't even keep count of them. I've done um, a few 21-day water fasts, and w the longest has been 24 days. I mean, yeah, 24 days back in 2018 that was the longest one on record for me um so what's going on when you're doing a water fast and i'm pretty sure most of you already know the people who are probably watching this video are into water fast and as a person that's really into water fast one of the things that's been pretty difficult is getting enough water in your system to move all bad stuff out of your system. And that has been a little difficult for me. In addition to that, you know, the fact that you got to rest because you really, I mean, I know people do a lot of stuff, but for me, I am just weak. I can't hardly, I've been sleeping during the day. Um, even at night, my, my sleep has been off and on. It's been, it's just, I just haven't been comfortable. This water fast, I will say it's been difficult. I am not going to break it because I only got two more days to go. So I'm like, okay, why would I give up? And I'm almost at the finish line. Um, the finish line, of course, being the last day, Monday would be my actual, the 10th day. And I'll bring you a video on the last day. And I'll bring you a video on um, the refeeding because I want you to see exactly what I am, you know, how I'm doing my refeeding. I know for sure my refeeding has been a challenge in the past. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that has this problem. <laughs> One thing I don't advise, which I've done so many times, is overeat on that first day of refeeding. So to lower it down. I am scheduling my meals. My goal is to take the um, cantaloupe and divide it in four parts and eat the first fourth part um, 10 o'clock and then eat the second one at 12, eat the third one at two and eat the final one for the re the first day of my refeeding at, um, you know, at four o'clock. That would be four pieces. And the next day, I'll probably increase it a little bit and continue that way. I won't add greens until probably the fifth day, because that's what I'm thinking. I don't, I don't think 
people, I mean, I mean, greens are very, and the greens I'm going to be adding is very soft leafy veg, um, like lettuce. I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to try the optimum diet. I'm going to add this before I end the video. I'm going to try the optimum diet by Lauren Lockman. He has fasted so many people and because he's fasted so many people, I trust that he's gone through many processes. He himself has fasted and he under his understanding is you should not consume a lot after you water fast, <laughs> which should be a no brainer. And I know people got different opinions about what you should do, but from my own experience, in addition to, I think Lauren's uh, advice is very good, but in my own experience, I do think you should definitely take small, small portions for that first day. And even the second day, slightly increase it and go on and on until you build yourself back up. So I'm going to end this video and thank you all for tuning in. I'm so, I appreciate everyone. I appreciate um, all my subscribers. I know y'all haven't gotten a video in so long, but um, I appreciate everyone. You all take care. Thank you.